Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together, and I am always so thankful, grateful, and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I have some amazing things I cannot wait to show you from the Dollar Tree. I'm always so excited to bring these things to your attention. Every time I find something, it is so exciting for me knowing I'm going to get to show all of my friends and family here. So let's just get right into it. And at the end, I have some crafting items that I wanted to share with you that I just finished up. So let's get to hauling. I found my Aroma Booster beads. I haven't found these for a zillion years, it feels like. These are so unbelievably wonderful. These beads inside of this big old jar here, they come in a variety of different colors. It depends on where you find them. And sometimes they put out all the same color beads at the same time. Or you can unscrew the top. You can find purple ones, um, teal ones. You can find, um, let me see, the pink ones, yellow ones. And they all have a little bit of a different scent. But I can promise you that the scent is so intense and fabulous. I wished I had bought like a pallet of these when I originally found them. I ran out of these probably about five, six months ago. I've never found them again. And here they are back at the store. And now I've found them in three different Dollar Trees. So this is what it says right here. It says in wash aroma booster and odor eliminator. This is a nice big jar. It's 17.5 ounces. And they make me incredibly happy in my laundry. It is a wonderful, amazing scent all of the different colored beads. So I hope you guys can find them and try them when they're coming back into the stores just now. So there is that right out the gate and I love my scents. Then I found this amazing room freshener here and this is from the Wizard brand. This is a rose bouquet scent and it is marvelous. It's a big, nice, big can. I love to freshen up my house in the morning, afternoon, and the night before bed. So I go through my scents rather quickly around here. This is a, let me see, a 10 ounce can of the rose bouquet scent, which is fabulous. Then I also found this one in the air wick and the air wick is the magnolia and cherry blossom Ta-da, ta-da, love this so much. This one is an eight ounce can, but the scent of this is beyond words. Then last but not least for the air fresheners, we found this one, all different, um, all different brands. This is the Sure Sense brand, and this is Angel Blossom. That is such a wonderful scent. These just a little teeny little spritz in the store and you can catch the scent of it and decide if you like it too. But they have so many air fresheners to choose from that are absolutely fabulous. This one is a 10 ounce can also. So this is a nice, big, beautiful can. And I have been known to make a basket with some candles and some, um, Ooh, look at what I have. Uh, some candles. Maybe I don't have it actually, but get one of the little lighters. Yes, I do. I found it. This is at the Dollar Tree as well. Get some candles, put a lighter in there, some air fresheners, little room mists, make a whole basket full of beautiful scents and a lighter to light the candles. And that is a cute gifting basket. This is the lightning uh, lighter butane. And these are for barbecues, fireplaces, candles, and camping. And this is what I use every single time to light my candles. So I picked that up. I needed some backups. I usually grab a couple and those are usually in the register aisles leaving where I find those lighters. So I love that so much. Now, where are we going with this? We are going over here. I found some calendars that I have never, not one time ever seen before. And there's two in each package. So that made me really happy. This is inspirational quotes in here. And then this little one down here is the one that seriously got me to grab this set. This is Tea Time. So I am going to unpackage this because I want to see the images on the back of tea time. Yes, I'm going to use my teeth. 
I am, I am. Okay. We just need to open this and rip it apart really quick so I can get you all the goods. We have this absolutely stunning big calendar. And these are the images on the back. I love to use these in scrapbooking as well. So there is all of those 2023 photographs in this calendar set. Then on the back of Tea Time, which really truly excites me even more, are all of these images right here with little Tea Time cups and saucers. And I love every single stunning image. So that just made my heart really incredibly happy. And then we have this set right here that is called Landscapes. That is the 2023 calendar we have here. Super fast. I'm going to open this baby up so that you guys, excuse moi, so that you guys can see what the little one looks like. I should have probably done this before, but I wanted you to see that I just got it, so I kept the wrapping on it. Now, wow, this one is stunning. So this little landscape one right here for the 2023 calendar, these are the images that come in this beautiful one, and that is exceptional. Then in this big old one that has the landscape for 2023 is the oh my goodness look at how breathtaking that is just amazing outdoors is wonderful to me I love nature I love the world and that is just beautiful um my mom has a calendar frame that she's had for probably my whole life every single time that she buys one of her calendars for each new year she displays the photographs in a calendar frame and not even with the calendar part attached but she just uses the image to display as a picture in the frame and it is just lovely and pretty. And I always look forward to seeing which calendar she's going to pick out and how pretty the images are that she puts on in her little frame set. So love that. Those were brand new. Never seen those before. Now, my goodness, I found these fantastic, wonderful little packets. Never seen this brand before or these at the Dollar Tree, but it's pure kick. And this has seven electrolytes, five calories. There's six sticks in here. And this is the Citrus Hydrate and it's zero sugar. So it's just a nice little kick to spruce up your waters when it gets a little blah and you just need a little flavor. Then this one right here is the Strawberry Watermelon, which would definitely be my favorite. Has all of the same description as I just read to you. So that one, I'm definitely going to take a few out of that package and enjoy it very much. Love that. So now we have new masks. I keep finding new masks that I don't have in my mask stash at home. I do a mask every day, sometimes a couple of times a day. It's just soothing and relaxing, just quite honestly. So this is the Yes to Cucumbers, and this is the Calming Bubble Paper Mask with Aloe Vera to Soothe Sensitive Skin. So that's a brand new one, and these go for more then $1.25 outside of the Dollar Tree. I see these usually at Walmart if I'm being nosy, browsing around the other stores to do price comparisons. These start at about $2.50 at Walmart and they're $1.25 at my favorite place on the planet. So I grab that right there. Then I found these Freeman products and I love the Freeman brand. I really truly do. My son loves it. He loves to do skincare. So to find these things for that price point is fabulous for all of us. And this is the Freeman um, Clearing Peel Off Clay Mask. This is sweet tea and lemon. I have never ever heard of this one before and I was stoked. This is for brightening, purifying. Um, and it's six fluid ounces. That is a big old tube of a face mask in there and sweet tea on my face. Yes. Yes. Let me sip some uh, sweet tea and put a little sweet tea face mask on. That is a good old day. <laughs> that sure is. Now this one right here is the cosmic 
metallic. I've never found this one. I've found the rose gold one, but I've never found this one. So I'm happy about that. This is the peel off mask purifying platinum six fluid ounces. And if you can see right there, it says $5 on it. I'm pretty positive because I went to a five below on black Friday and that looks like a five below tag. So I, I'm thinking I may be right that this came from five below for $5. And that's still more than what I paid for it at my good old Dollar Tree. So I grabbed that one. And like I said, my son and I, we use up these products like nobody's business and we love it every single time. This one here is fabulous. And I have used this one before. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. This is the Freeman Soothing Gel Mask with Watermelon and Aloe. And um, it's six fluid ounces again. So that is great. And I can put it all in a cute little basket for Isaiah, make him, you know, food basket, sock basket, and toiletry basket with some um, body care stuff in it. That is what I do every year for my guys for like stock and stuffery type of baskets. So these are wonderful. And I'm so happy to have found those right before Christmas. Then I picked up two of these because I've never seen it before. And that this is really good to have on hand, especially in the summertime. This is the Derma Plus um, Antiperspirant Secret Cooling 48 Hour Invisible Gel. It has B5 plus aloe in it. It's 2.5 ounces. I've never seen this before at the Dollar Tree. Secret is a very well-known good brand, I think. Personally, myself, I like Secret. And um, these are good. So Isaiah is really going to love these. And I got both of these to put in his stocking for sure. In the summertime, he's always like, Mom, where is the aloe? I put sunblock on, but somehow I must have either forgotten to not reapply or I didn't put enough on because my eight hours at the beach has not worked out for me. So, so those are going to be really good to have in the bathroom for him to make sure that he is good. Now, right here, I found this cute little cosmetic bag that I think is just really, really sweet and nice. They did have a couple to choose from, but of course I liked the one with the glitter, uh, glittery sparkles in it. I love the colors of the glittery sparkles inside of it. It's just, a, it's not really thick. It's not, it doesn't feel like a sturdy, good cosmetic bag. So I wouldn't pile too much in that, but I still think it was super sweet and cute just to put a sweet little um, nail kit type of gift in there and give it as a present with a little bow on it. So this is the bag I got. And then these are the two nail polishes that I found. And I think that they go really well with this bag. So I'm going to show you them together. These are so fun, so bright and vivid. I love it. I love that blue right there. Four, two, four is the number on it. Let me see if I can see an actual name. I don't know why I always have a hard time seeing like a name. Oh, this is called Wired, which I think is a really nifty name, but that is so, so vivid. And then this is like the glittery, uh, glittery look to it. Five, six, eight is the number on it, right? Did I say that? Yep. But will you look at the sparkles in there? That is a party. That is a party in a little jar. Why isn't this focusing? It's hurting my feelings. There you go. Oh my goodness. That is just too, too pretty. Both of those colors together in this bag. That's just happiness. I think it goes all really cute together. It would make an absolutely adorable set to gift away. I have cousins. I have friends that like to paint their nails. I don't really do anything other than if I stick some press-ons on and I'm out the door and then I bite them off like two days later. <laughs> but I have a lot of girls in my life that like to take care of like their hands and go get manicures and paint their nails in the off time. So those are going to go to somebody really special. Then I found these 
new little sets right here and I think it was on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. I had told you guys that I might want to start collecting uh, lip balms and cute packages and get like a whole stash of collectible lip balms. I think that they're so cool and cute and I have several that I already want to put together in a set and show you guys eventually somebody gave me a good idea to like get a collection going and then show you guys my lip balm collection. It's just really like a cute idea. So I found these and I thought that this was really fun. I'm probably going to gift these away for sure though, because they have super cute clips inside of it. This is the Jojo brand. And so there's a nice little lip balm in there and these cute ones with the bows attached to it for clips. So it says what's Scent is this. This is berry scented lip balm. And there's that cute chiclet right on there. So I picked up that one. That would be cute in that bag too with some nail polishes. That is a good time. Then we also have the Trolls brand here with these cute little clips in it and the hearts um, for a little embellishments on the clips. That is an adorable little set. And this is berry scented as well for a lip balm in there. And they had a couple of other ones to choose from too, but those are just the ones that I grabbed. Then over the weekend, I met up with my friend Delia from My Crazy Crafty Life. We went shopping with my friend Karen that I met for the first time. And she is a subscriber here, but we've become friends outside of just this realm of the world connecting. And I was so happy to meet her and her husband. And Delia met us as well. Delia brought me a Christmas present and she had this in my Christmas present bag and I was so so excited she said I was trying to find a second one because I thought it would be really cute for you to make little mermaid earrings with these keychain charms and wear them and you know that I would so we went into the Dollar Tree because that's what we were doing Dollar Tree hopping and she found a second one and I got it so now I'm going to make little mermaid earrings with these keychains. So there she is. But there are other princesses, Disney princesses to choose from. Use it as a keychain or grab a couple, make them into earrings like Delia suggested. I think it's a fantastic idea. And I can't wait to rock those for you guys. So that's always fun. And that's like $2.50 for a cute little set of dangly earrings. And those are an essential for me to wear earrings every day. So I loved that idea and she had a good, good thought there. Now I found these and these are wonderful. I picked these up and I baked over the weekend and then I gifted one cupcake in each one of these to surprise people all weekend and gave them just a little individual cupcake in there. This I think is great for $1.25. There's five in here, not four. There's a bonus one. So this is the Surefresh brand. These are just, I thought that they were great. This is the reusable square container and lids. And it says it's microwave, freezer, top rack, dishwasher safe, remove lid before heating and microwave. That's the instructions that it gives on it. And it's 2.8 cups in each one but it fit a cutie patootie little cupcake that I made right in there safely and snugly and it was fun to gift them away like that put a cute bow on it just give somebody a cute treat to have so I love those and I picked up an extra set because I loved them that much then I found this container and this is a new image on the front of this I have never one time ever seen before. This is Baking Spirits Bright with all of the gingerbread family on the front of it. I love the gingerbread up on the roof with the string of lights, probably decorating the house with his family. This reminds me of the Griswolds Christmas. <laughs> I just love all of it. They are so cute. This one's holding a spatula. That one's doing a little dance. This one's sitting on the ground holding a present. There's candy canes and it's just oh so beautiful. And I love, love, love these containers. I gift, I just gift baked goods in here and hand it to people. I've given out six different trays just like this, but this is a new image for me with all of my cupcakes inside of it that I've baked for my neighbors, for my husband's work and for my son's work. So 
they've all enjoyed it and I've been happy to do it. So here is another one. I might keep that one though because it's really, really cute. So I might put my own baked goods in there for Christmas. So I grabbed that. Then I picked up some frosting tubes. These are icing gels and I grabbed two of them because I'm going to be embellishing and making gingerbread um, faces with the ginger snaps from the Dollar Tree that came in like a big bag. So that's what we're going to do instead of gingerbread houses this year, I'm pretty sure. So I picked up the pink icing and these tubes are rather big. There is um, 0. 0. 0.88 ounces in each tube, but there's quite a bit of content in there just to kind of like border their face with some cute little um, squiggles of this pink icing. So I picked those up and I hope that I can find some other colors to jazz up my little gingerbread people with my family when we have our bake night. So I picked that up. Then I thought this was really, really great for an insert in a bag. And this is a bigger package than I ever remember them having around the holidays of this brand of chocolates. This is the Sherwood brand. There are six pieces of premium dark chocolate in here and they're truffles. There's three ounces. I want to sit on the couch and eat bonbons and watch soap operas when I see this box. <laughs> this is so awesome. I love it. And usually there's only a package that normally has like three in it. So I feel like this one is um, really really such a great pickup for these specialty truffle chocolates. And that is beautifully packaged. So it would look really nice in any type of gift set that you want to put together for somebody. Love it. Here, here, oh here, I grabbed some of my favorite chewy snacks ever on the planet. I just found this brand for the first time at the Dollar Tree a couple of hauls ago and I grabbed the gummy bears with these. They were so, so amazingly good, the gummy bears in this brand. But right here, here are the gummy worms. So I had to grab it. There is so much in this bag. These bags were chocked full of gummy bears, this size package. Now the gummy worms, these things are filled up almost to the top of the rim. There's 3.5 ounces in this bag. And I think that that's a steal because, you know, even for this brand, I think they go for like $3 a bag. Um, at Target, I think I've seen them. So yeah. There's some gummy worms, but look out for the gummy bears too, because those I've already had and I loved them so much. I think Amber from Amber's to-do list, those are her favorite type of gummy bears in that brand. I'm pretty sure I remember her saying it like sometime last year. So I was happy to give them a shot. I did think of Amber when I tried them. Um, right here, I grabbed this package and I had an obsession with these for a super duper long time. Then they kind of went out of stock and I found several bags this weekend. So I grabbed them. This is the Nerds Gummy Clusters. They are so good. They're like the Nerd Ropes, but they're in little chunks of heavenly candy goodness. And they are just fun and festive and bright and colorful and sweet to eat. So I grabbed that and I hope you guys grab them too because that's a fun snack. That is a fun old snack. Now, ta-da, where are we going? Where are we going? Let's get to these toastums. Toasteds? Toasteds. Toasted? No, toasted? Yeah. Harvest wheat. That's the word right there from Keebler. And this is a big old sack of crackers. I love this. There are a lot of cracker options in there. Make a really nice charcuterie board for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's, whatever you wish. This is a good set to grab for $1.25 of these wonderful Keebler Harvest Wheat Crackers. So I grabbed a couple of packages of those because I love some Cabot cheese, some super sharp Cabot cheese with crackers that is like that's a snack that I would take over chocolate to be honest with you I really really like crackers and cheese so I love those then we have this and this is a bag 
a loop bag and there are six in here but I've already used three bags and they puffed out so cute there is a lot of room to these bags there were so many different images to choose from but I loved Santa with the presents all bordering him and then holding the banner that says Merry Christmas I think that's so holly and jolly and fun and cute so I filled these up with my cupcakes in those little Tupperwares of individual cupcakes inside of them. I fit two of those in each bag and I gifted them away. So I picked these up and I think that that is a decent price and it holds quite a bit. So I thought that was fantastic. Then I grabbed some decorative shred. I finally found the red one. It doesn't look too red on camera, but this is a red decorative uh, shred. And this is from the Voila brand. There's 1.8 ounces and add it to whatever you wish. So I'm happy to have this. I've been looking for the red one for quite a bit. I also found the tissue paper here and I love the sparkly tissue paper because I love everything bright, glittery, uh, glittery and fun. I don't know why I have a hard time with that word glittery, <laughs> but I seem to have a really hard time with that. So I love the sparkles and there's 20 gift tissues in here, which is really, really nice. So just to spruce up a cute gift, you can even wrap with the tissue paper. I've had so many people wrap things for me with tissue paper and they always just turn out so beautifully. So I definitely love that so much. Now, last but almost not least, we are coming down to the wire. I found gift boxes and I have seen them, but I haven't found images that I don't already own for this year from the things I picked up last year. Then I found these beauties right here and the images are stunning. I absolutely love all the pastel images um, on these boxes. There was a lot to choose from, but this is the package that I chose with that beautiful, beautiful reindeer right there. There is no way I'm just going to use these for display, make them into boxes and use them to decorate. I love this snowman right here and the little snow owl. We actually have snowy owls that come down from Canada and they come to our closest beaches down in Hampton Beach, um, Salisbury Beach. And I go around in the winter and look for them and photograph them. I've seen so many amazing, magical looking snowy owls through the winter over like the last five years they've been showing up and that's where they come down they come down from Canada and I think that is amazing so this one is one of my favorites because of the snowy owl in it so I grabbed those this whole set and there's two boxes in there for gift boxes now definitely last but not least before I show you my crafts and creations I had to get these bags I can't tell you enough how much I absolutely love the gift bag section. They have some absolutely beautiful, beautiful choices to choose from for every single rhyme, reason, holiday, or celebration. They have them at every size point you could possibly need, and they're all the same price, which is my happy place. <laughs> so these are my Disney Beautiful Princesses. Comes with a tag, and those faces are just perfect. So you know, if you've been here with me for a while, that I'm framing my bag for my craft room. And that is the lining on the inside. So beautiful, but those are great for gifting as well. Such a pretty little bag. And then I got this one for my mom. She absolutely loves Elsa and Anna. And these are her favorite two girls, Olaf and all the gang. So I got this for her and I'm pretty sure she is going to display this as a picture and a photograph herself because she collects things from Frozen. So here is this beautiful bag. Um, did this one come with a tag? I don't think this one came with a tag and if it was supposed to it's not there um and then on the inside that is the lining of it and it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful so that is it that is it happy happy what day is it 
um, happy Monday Dollar Tree haul. I am so happy to be here with you. I love every single one of you. And for those of you that are new here, hi, I'm Callan. I would love it if you'd stick around, stay, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Here on this channel, I do Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays, and I absolutely love it. I sit here with my friends and my family, and we shop together, and it is the best time of my life. So that is it. And if you want to stick around for a moment, I'm just going to show you some ornaments that I've made out of some Dollar Tree stuff. And um, just I had so much fun making it. So I had picked up these um, like ceramic little uh, glass pieces, ceramic pieces, whatever you want to call them. And this is how I embellished this one. That one is from the like that hair clip section that had the Santa Claus little legs and the bow. So I just turned them upside down in the chimney area. And then the little um, wreath that came attached to him, I separated it, put that on the front door. And I used these little candy canes because my friend Carol Franklin sent them to me to embellish from my candy themed, doggy themed Christmas this year, my rainbow themed Christmas. So this is the little house and how it came out with all the stickers and the fun that I pick up from the Dollar Tree. Then this one, I made this one with the star. Again, all these pieces came from that ceramic, you know, section where all of these were hanging and all these different like uh, styles, hearts and stars and houses and what have you. So this is the other one that I made. And all of these little candy confettis came in a package from Shein for like $2 for this huge bag of candy confetti. And then I just used tacky glue and sprinkled them on. And voila, this is how this one turned out. Then I have, let me see. I have four of them. So there's two more. This one is my favorite. This one is my favorite to represent my candy little girl that's gone over the rainbow bridge, my little furry baby angel doggy. So I put the angel, uh, the rainbow sticker in the middle that my beautiful friend sent me here in a friend mail, and then all of the candy confetti around it with the tacky glow stuck to the heart, and that one makes me really, really happy. And then last but not least, here is this one. Now, my little candy girl, my little baby, she had so many nicknames and I used to also call her my little baby reindeer. So I had this reindeer sticker that also came from the Dollar Tree at one point in time. I used that. The rainbow sticker in the background came in a friend mail from one of my beautiful friends. The candy canes came from another beautiful friend from here and then other stickers from the Dollar Tree. So that is how this one came out and I loved it and I was so happy and thankful and blessed to be able to make those and I love the Dollar Tree for all of the things that it gives me in my life my family and all the things that it gives them in their life and the donations and the gifts that I get to give to people it makes me so thankful and grateful you have no idea so that is it. I love you guys and I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing, fantastic and marvelous week. And I can't wait to see you in a couple of days on happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. So I'll see you in a few and I love all your faces. Bye guys.